Updated December 1, 2017, 194,932. An investigation into embattled West Australian MP Barry Urban has kicked off, with a powerful parliamentary committee yesterday convening a snap meeting, just hours after it was called in to probe the Labour MP, the Privileges and Procedures Committee, which will have a big say in Mr Urban's fate, met yesterday to begin an investigation which could have serious implications for the crisis-riddled MP. The committee has the ability to recommend punishments as severe as imprisonment or expulsion of Parliament, but such severe action has seldom been taken in Australia. So, after weeks of scandal surrounding Mr Urban's dubious claims about his past, what happens now for the former Labour, now independent, MP what did Mr Urban do? Mr Urban made false claims about a medal he wore to formal functions, saying it was an official British award, when he had actually bought it online. He also admitted to falsely claiming to have completed a diploma of local government, saying he had done most of it. But further evidence has cast significant doubt even over that. Two British universities he claimed to have attended said they had no record of him, while doubts have also emerged about whether he actually did serve as a war crimes investigator in Bosnia. So what will the committee investigate? In layman's terms, the Procedure and Privileges Committee is something of a watchdog for Parliament, with the ability to investigate both members and others who appear before the House for things they say in the chamber. Officially, the committee will be examining if there have been any breaches of privilege by Mr Urban. That will largely centre around whether Mr Urban misled Parliament, with claims that have since been shown to be either dubious or outright wrong. There was some political backhand firth as to whether that was too narrow a scope for the investigation, with calls for claims Mr Urban made in his campaign to get elected to Parliament to also be examined. In reality, though, once the committee starts investigating something it can take that in any direction it sees fit. Speaker Peter Watson, the Labour MP who chairs the committee, said he hoped the investigation would be completed by the time Parliament returns in mid-February 2018. We're trying to fit everything in to get it done as soon as possible because it's a very serious allegation, Mr Watson said. We want to make sure we get it right. What are the possible punishments? Technically, the committee only makes recommendations for punishments that the Legislative Assembly then chooses whether to implement. But the punishments it can recommend, and that can then be imposed by Parliament, are both broad and severe. On the most extreme side of the scale, the Legislative Assembly has the ability to imprison someone found to be in contempt of Parliament. MPs can also be expelled from Parliament by their colleagues, or suspended. Less severe available punishments include fines or in order to apologise. Are the most severe punishments handed out often? People might be surprised to know Parliament can jail someone or expel another MP and part of that is because both are extremely rare. Was Parliament has never used its expulsion power and it has only happened once in federal politics, nearly 100 years ago. The imprisonment option is especially extreme. That too is rare but it has happened in the past. In the 1990s, Brian Easton was jailed by the Legislative Council for seven days when he refused to apologise after being found in contempt of Parliament for what was dubbed the Easton Affair. Who will be investigating Mr Urban? Labour, the party of which Mr Urban was a member before Wednesday, does have a majority on the committee. Mr Watson is joined by Lisa Baker and Kevin Michel from Labour, with Liberal Ian Blaney and National Peter Rundle rounding out the committee but Mr Watson insisted political allegiances would have no impact on the outcome. We are there as members of Parliament to look after the reputation of our Parliament, Mr Watson said. Will we get to see any of their deliberations? No, the committee conducts its investigations behind closed doors and there will be few hints as to what is happening. But all will be revealed when the committee tables its report in Parliament, which is expected to happen in February. Topic State Parliament, Perth 6000 first posted December 1, 2017 124,516